So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the different elements you can actually include in your email campaigns for your Shopify e-commerce business. And using what I'm about to show you, like a combination of these elements, you could literally hit every single angle when it comes to your email marketing. So really do pay attention here. I'll be focusing on the different elements you can implement within your email, as opposed to going over all of the angles out there, because you know, quite frankly, there, there's just way too many angles for me to cover in one video. Also, the reason for me to just give you the elements is because then you could let your creativity run wild and really figure out what works for your brand. Right. You should kind of see this video as kind of like just teaching you the alphabet and that way you are able to basically just spell out any word in the dictionary. By the way, what I'm about to show you is literally what we've used to generate our clients millions in revenue. So pay attention. Right, so to build the various elements of the campaigns, I'm going to be showing you this uh, on Klaviyo. However, the process is literally the same on OmniSend. So what we what you would do is just go to Klaviyo and then uh, go to campaigns and then create a campaign and then choose the drag and drop um, method. And I'm working with a template here, but obviously when it comes to building your own brand, uh, you, you can create it and just really get creative with this essentially. So in terms of the uh, different elements, they are all displayed here. I've kind of just added really uh, poor quality, like, the aesthetics isn't here right now, but uh, I'm just more so doing this to prove a point, right? If you're a beginner to this and you don't, or if your store is not at a huge scale where you can afford to work with uh, really nice graphic designers, uh, I really recommend you create your designs either in like Canva or just utilize the default templates provided to you by Klaviyo because they're already really, really good, right? In terms of the campaigns, there's only realistically only a few uh, elements that you actually need. So that would be, you know, the logo at the top, you ab absolutely need that. There's also kind of like uh, optional, optional features such as the navigation bar, where you can see here, you know, for whoever, if you're selling many, many SKUs, you might wanna send out an email with like, hey, clothing, dress, shoes, etc., sale, etc. But generally speaking, for most of our clients, we actually don't uh, use this as a call to action simply because what once you have too many kind of call to actions, that actually confuses the customer sometimes and it uh, creates inaction, right? So it depends on your brand. I would test it out with the navigation bar if you want to. Uh, but generally speaking, if you're like selling only five products, just drive traffic to like a collections page or, or something. Next, super, super important, and that's the banner. You, you wanna have text on the banner to really set the uh, intent for the email. Generally speaking, like three to five words to explain what the entire email is going to be about. So if it's like a sale, then it will be like big text, like flash sale, et cetera, et cetera, and tell you the percentage off or whatever the exact offer is going to be. The idea when it comes to having a banner is that as soon as the person sees the banner, they will know exactly what you're trying to convey in the email. And also this uh, probably isn't the best example of a, a banner because it's actually not optimized for mo mobile. So when it comes to banners that we design for our clients, uh, we wanna make sure that the banner consumes the entirety of their mobile screen as soon as they open the email and they'd have to scroll slightly uh, to the bottom to actually see the body copy or if or if like there is a call to action, then they would be able to get access to the call to action straight away. Next is the actual body of the copy. So this is where you can actually uh, have a lot of content and be very content centric, whether it be a personalized message from the founders of the company, or it could be just a direct response copy talking about the benefits of your products. Anything along those lines, this is what this section is reserved for. And then it come, then comes the kind of like call to actions that you want, right? So the call to action should be something super, super simple, very easy to understand, and it should be, uh, it should actually stand out. So in this email, in my opinion, the call to action isn't strong enough because it doesn't actually pop out at you from the email. The colors are very, very soft. Uh, what I would generally recommend is just having some sort of really, really bold color when it comes to the call to action so that your uh, reader's eyes automatically gets uh, attracted to the call to action. This will help you increase click-through rates. Another kind of feature you could have is either the dynamic or static 
uh, product carousels. So when it comes to dynamic product carousels, what you, you wanna be implementing these in your flows based on the uh, audience's behavior. But when it comes to actual campaigns, you're gonna have to use a static one. Generally speaking, when it comes to carousels, we like to use them for launch campaigns or we like to use them for uh, bestseller campaigns and things along those lines where it really does make sense for you to feature a specific product or product line of yours, right? So real simple to create in Klaviyo, you literally, it's uh, it's just called products and then you'll be able to tag whatever one you want. Another really useful feature to build urgency, for example, is the countdown time. So for example, if you're trying to hype up a launch or maybe hype up a sale, like a Black Friday campaign or something, then you wanna include these timers to really make sure um, to get across the idea that, hey, like this is uh, time sensitive and uh, you should be looking forward to something in very soon. You can also use timers to signify the end of sales. So for example, if you give them like an exclusive flash sale discount code, uh, then you would include a timer say, hey, look, this code expires in 24 hours or less, so get yours now. Another kind of uh, element that you can include in your emails is actually the reviews element, or alternatively, you can actually do um, user-generated content element. So the reviews would just be like a carousel of reviews that you copy and paste from your website. Obviously, you wanna tweak it for grammar to make sure everything makes sense. And then when it comes to the user-generated content section, uh, you can use like a customer selfie, uh, or maybe like a customer like showing off their products like this uh, as a GIF, and then along with a testimonial of that customer specifically. Another type of, uh, I guess, element you can include uh, is actually GIFs. So you can use GIFs for your banners. This is not something that we do too, too often for clients simply because we find that, um, you know, GIFs takes much, much longer to design. And in terms of conversion, it doesn't help too, too much. So we only use kind of GIFs for uh, really big events. So for example, like Black Friday, or maybe if they're having like some, insane sale or something along those lines, we would use a GIF to really pop out. The thing about GIFs is you wanna be using them uh, sparingly. And the reason for that is because you wanna make sure that when you do actually use them, they are very, very high impact and they really do stand out. It's all about kind of like pattern breaks in the uh, consumer's eyes. So another um, really important element would be your social links and then the footer of the email. So the footer of the email will simply be like the uh, unsubscribe link and uh, your organization name, address, etc. Uh, the thing is, you know, it doesn't really affect conversion, but not having that would, you know, create distrust in your list. Another thing would be your social links. So this would be a link to all of your social media platforms. I really recommend um, not linking to every single social media platform that you have, but more so only linking the ones that you're super active in, right? So if you're not active really on Facebook, don't link your Facebook, just keep your Instagram. Or if you're super active on Twitter and Instagram, don't have Pinterest on there, for example. So yeah, these are literally all of the elements that you'll ever need when it comes to building out your emails. With these elements, you can combine them to form literally any sing every single angle out there possible. And you know, sometimes a email can be as simple as just logo, banner, call to action. But if you wanna get more complex or maybe you're, you wanna do it slightly more like content driven, then it could get slightly more complex. For example, like a GIF banner, call to action, copy, call to action, reviews, and then another call to action, right? Or if it's like a uh, sales campaign, what you could do is just logo, banner, uh, call to action, timer, urgency, promotion, or whatever code you wanna uh, push, and then another call to action as well. So one of the tips that I feel like I should bring up is that you should actually have multiple call to actions within the same email. The reason I say this is because sometimes, you know, the emails are super long. So you wanna have multiple call to actions so that people don't actually need to scroll either to the bottom or all the way to the top to find out what the next step is in uh, their customer journey. So yeah, if you wanna invoke urgency, it can be done through things like the subject line or uh, using like the HTML code timer that I showed you earlier, along with 
things like copy, etc. Now, this is just a live example of what each of the element entails. Please do make it more aesthetic than this. Like, this is this is not the quality of uh, emails that we send out for clients. But yeah, actually, I will give you guys an idea of what our emails look like. I'll throw them up on screen uh, right here. Lastly, you know, if you're an e-commerce brand looking to uh, learn more about email marketing, please do opt into my newsletter down below where I give unique insights on how we email market for our current clients and brands and how we've literally generated hundreds of thousands, millions of revenue for our clients. If you want me to potentially handle your email marketing, feel free to book in a call with me down below using my scheduler. And I really look forward to speaking with you soon. Thank you.